super easy trick to calculate bond pairs and lone pairs of electrons on central atom. Well, I challenge you that you will not find this trick anywhere because it is my personal trick which I only teach to special students to crack any exam. Now let me teach you my personal trick to find bond pairs and lone pairs of electrons in any molecule. Firstly, I write some common atoms like hydrogen, boron, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, sulfur, chlorine, bromine, krypton and xenon. Secondly, I write their respective group numbers. Now listen carefully. Group 7 elements need 1 electron. Group 6 elements need 2 electrons. Group 5 elements need 3 electrons. And group 4 elements need 4 electrons to complete their respective octet rule. For example, consider these molecules. Now I use my personal formula to find the lone pair of electrons. I write total electrons on central atom minus electrons needed by the atom. Here, the central atom is boron. So I write B minus 3F. This 3 means that there are 3 atoms of fluorine present in this molecule. Now we know that in the valence shell of boron, there are 3 electrons. Minus 3 and fluorine needs 1 electron to complete its octet rule. So I get 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So there is 0 lone pair present on central atom. Now what about the bond pair of electrons? Well, this 3 subscript means that there are 3 bond pairs present in this molecule. Therefore, there is 0 lone pair of electrons present and there are 3 bond pairs of electrons present in this molecule. Now in case of this molecule, I write S-2O because here sulfur is the central atom. We know that there are 6 electrons present on central atom minus 2 and oxygen needs 2 electron. So I get 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Now this 2 means 2 electrons. So we say that one lone pair of electrons is present. This 2 subscript means that there are 2 bond pairs of electrons present. Secondly, in case of this molecule, I write chlorine plus 3 fluorine. We know that the central atom is chlorine and it has 7 electrons in its valence shell. Minus 3 and fluorine needs 1 electron. So I get 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 electrons. Thus there are 2 lone pairs of electrons present on central atom. This 3 subscript means that there are 3 bond pairs of electrons present in this molecule. Thus using this trick, we can easily calculate the bond pair and lone pair of electrons. Now let me teach you medium level questions. Calculate bond pair and lone pairs of electrons in the given ions. Well, I write nitrogen and in case of positive charge, I write minus because electron has lost by the central atom minus 4 atoms of hydrogen. We know that there are 5 electrons present in the valence shell of nitrogen minus 1, minus 4 and 2, 1 because hydrogen needs only 1 electron to complete its octet rule. Now I get 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 electrons. So there is no lone pair present on central atom. What about the bond pairs? Well, this 4 subscript means that there are 4 bond pairs of electrons present. In case of this molecule, I write phosphorus plus negative charge because the central atom has gained 3 electrons minus 4 oxygen atoms. We know that there are 5 electrons present in the valence shell of phosphorus plus 3 minus 4 into 2 because oxygen needs 2 electron. I get 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 electrons. So there are no lone pair present in this molecule. And we can see that there are 4 bond pairs of electrons present in this molecule. Finally, let me teach you one exam question. 
find the bond pair and lone pairs of electrons in the given species well i write n minus o we know that there are five electrons present in the valence shell of nitrogen minus and oxygen needs two electrons i get three electrons remember that whenever you get odd number always write it is unstable molecule so this molecule is unstable molecule in case of this molecule i write n minus 1 minus oxygen 5 minus 1 minus 2 i get 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 electrons so there is one lone pair of electrons present in this molecule and there is also one bond pair of electrons present in this molecule in case of this molecule i write n minus 2 oxygen 5 minus 2 n to 2 or 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 electron here 1 is odd number so i write it is unstable molecule in case of this molecule i write n plus 1 minus 2 oxygen 5 plus 1 minus 2 n to 2 i get 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 electrons so there is one lone pair of electrons present in this molecule also we can see that there are two bond pairs of electrons present in this molecule thus using this simple trick we can easily calculate the bond pairs of electrons and lone pairs of electrons in any molecule